Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I'm with my guy here, Karma, the nosy bee panther chameleon, and I'm pretty excited today because we decided that we were gonna get another nosy bee panther chameleon, but this time we're actually gonna get a girlfriend for Karma. The box should be here pretty soon, but we have a couple things to do beforehand. I am excited, I cannot wait till she shows up. And while we're waiting for this box to show up that I'm so excited about, of course we have all our little baby Jackson's chameleons in here. They're so cute, they're all over the place. There's actually 23 of them in here that just look, they blend in, but they are just crushing food and doing real well. So we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys while we're waiting. And you know, the whole thought about, you know, getting Karma a girlfriend, not only is it gonna be a great kind of animal for people to be able to hold and kind of socialize with, but also, you know, after doing the whole Aries Ivy thing, it just kind of made me think like, maybe we should start pairing some the stuff up obviously Diddy and Dixie love each other and I think it might be cool to start adding that flavor so I don't know uh, I'm super excited about it but in the meantime we'll just go ahead feed my little baby Jackson's chameleon and say again they are just absolutely doing way better than I expected them to do I was really nervous about them but they are crushing food so let's go ahead and feed these guys and just enjoy how cute they are was that little snipers I mean those little tongues I mean it's crazy to think that these things are doing so well I absolutely love them and I hope that they all do I don't think I, I don't know if I'll get rid of them I might just raise them all up I don't know but it will be really cool as they're growing to find out which ones are males and females nevertheless that box is probably over next door so let's go ahead go grab that box and do some unboxing and see our new little baby and I am pretty excited about this for sure. Our friends over at Camouflage Creations, I think they're amazing. You can see even the box on the outside, everything. I mean, they're a class act. I'm sure there's other great chameleon places, but I have always dealt with Camouflage Creations. Link in the description, uh, not a paid advertisement. Didn't get a break on the animal. I just think that they're wonderful people, and I want you guys to have them. And I want you guys to be able to get awesome chameleons if you so choose. So let's just gently open this up. Ooh, here we go. And again, great pack job, great box. I mean, absolutely incredible. So let's see what we got here. Of course, you know that I love nosy bees. And look at the little note. This is actually has the lineage on it that is actually the mom and the dad, the day they were uh, born, all of the other information. So uh, it says, hope you and yours are healthy and well. Thanks. So thank you guys. Ooh, she climbed out on me. Look at this. There, so there it is. Of course, the female nosy bees are a little bit different than the males. Obviously, the males are the really beautiful ones, but look at how gorgeous she is. She is absolutely incredible. Now, she is in really a dark stage right now. She's gonna look much more beautiful than this when she gets settled in, and we're gonna put her in her enclosure here in just a little bit, but she looks absolutely wonderful, and I wouldn't expect anything different from my friends over at Camouflage for sure. Again, that's where Karma came from, and uh, I tell you what, I've always been super happy with everything I've gotten from him. So now we have to raise this girl up. It's gonna probably take another year. I don't know, it's not like I think I'm gonna ever really breed chameleons, but why not give it a shot, right? Could you imagine having little baby karma, nosy bee panther chameleons? I mean, it's incredible. And look at the pattern and color on this animal. Unbelievable. And she's actually relatively chill for being this size. Oftentimes at this size, they're pretty feisty. And she actually seems to be pretty chill. Of course, it's a little bit of stress, all that travel and stuff like that. So I wanna get her in her enclosure as quickly as I can, that's for sure. But nevertheless, absolutely gorgeous. I hope one day we'll be hatching some of these guys out because that would be absolutely wonderful. So there it is, guys. The Nosy Bee Panther Chameleon, Karma's girlfriend, one day, 
they'll actually meet each other, much like Ivy and Ari. All right, so this is the enclosure that Jessica got ready for this little monkey right here, and we're gonna just let her kind of crawl off and see what she's gonna do. Come on, little girl. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, she looks so good in there. She's got a lot of room to explore. She's got the screen to climb on. She looks absolutely incredible. You can already see her kind of changing her colors and just kind of really kind of going to be exploring the entire enclosure. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I love just seeing her climb around in here. She seems like she's going to have so much room. She's got so much to explore. She's going to definitely settle in. She's got, again, another year or so before we even think about trying to breed her or anything like that. For now, I just think she's got to settle in. And again, Jessica was so right when the fact that, you know, veil chameleons are amazing, but it's hard for kids to hold veil chameleons because they have such big claws and it's kind of pinchy. Whereas the panther chameleons are really incredible. So karma comes out quite a bit, but we want to overstress karma so now we have another panther chameleon once it gets a little size and gets settled in that can come out and people can hold and we can socialize it to become a great animal so it's absolutely amazing looks incredible in this enclosure it's gonna be super super happy and uh, again I'll keep you guys updated on how it does by the way she needs a name down in the comments let me know what name you think this nosy bee panther chameleon should be uh, she is absolutely adorable what is going on guys hey how are you doing I I'm doing great uh, in fact I actually have a little bit extra time to work with our crimson red iguanas, sriracha, and Tabasco. Man, that just sounds spicy thinking about it. I'm gonna get in the cage. I'm gonna kind of basically interact with them a little bit. I don't wanna over, over stress them, but I do wanna try and see if I can get my hands on them and grab one and see kind of where we are as far as their level of aggression. My preference is to actually get my boy right here, sriracha, because Tabasco is a little bit more flighty. Let's get started. Oh, look, he's already coming down. He's like, what are you gonna do? You gonna feed me now, bro? What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? So I decided to grab both of them, mainly because like I told you guys, like I'm not an iguana expert by any means, or oh, you're trying to whack me in the face now. This, as you guys can see, this is a big reason why I think this one's a female and this one's a male. You see that large, large do laps. Males have those really big, sure, sure they can show like who's dominant, who's the big bad boy around, and this is a pretty, pretty sweet little girl. I'm pretty sure she is at least. Look at the cool color difference too, man. Like she's a lot, lot darker in him, and man, I couldn't, I couldn't be more, more excited to grab him. I'm really excited to actually work with these guys. I've never actually seen him in real life before until we started working with them here. And I, man, I'm so excited about it. You guys know I've been waiting for this day for a long time when it comes to gargoyle geckos. What do we have? Ooh, we've got our first Deadpool baby. Oh my gosh. So this is Lady Deadpool. That's Lady Deadpool over and here. And then we've got Dexter. That's awesome. And again, these guys are a little bit fired down right now too, where yep. they're not as, I mean, typically they're much more red, much more beautiful. So that's absolutely incredible. Of course, these are Tiki geckos. Of course, these are Tiki geckos Deadpool line. Unbelievable. And our first baby hatched yes. out. Take a look. Look at this oh my god this is so cool look at that oh and again they don't look like a whole lot at this size because you know they they color up as they get older all that brown turns to red though right exactly when they get older so it's got a lot of orange on it that'll probably brighten up into a nice red like this and yeah i think it's gonna look amazing here in a couple weeks oh even. my gosh like yeah it, they change really quick oh my god i will definitely keep you guys updated again we've had some dracula lines already hatch out but now this is the first deadpool ever that we've had so i am so so excited about this good job jessica way to go I know it took forever. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but we got there. That's all yeah. that matters. That's awesome. And of course, Jessica's the one. You're the one that found yeah. her, and you're oh the one God. that suggested. So it's awesome. I am super excited. So I've never really like interacted in person with a female panther. So this is pretty cool. It's really cool too. The females apparently they're all that color, that, that orange fine? coloration. Yeah, it's which I didn't realize that. Like, because yeah. uh, the males will be different depending on you know locality, but. Yeah, she's super pretty. I know, it's so awesome. So uh, I appreciate the fact that Jessica came up with the idea. I love it. This girl's gonna be absolutely amazing. Can't wait to see her grow. And guess what? We have another note from Eggs, 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 eggs
I seriously never thought I was going to be fearful of pulling clutches of eggs, but you know, with Quinn around, you just never really know what's going to happen. This is a heater of a clutch, though. This is a Lemon Blast Orange Dream, and it's actually bred to a Pastavi Orange Dream, so we could produce Super Orange Dreams, but we could produce Jigsaw Orange Dreams, we could produce Pastavi Jigsaw Orange Dreams, all kinds of really cool stuff. Really happy, and I was super excited about this girl. Mama looks like she is not happy right now, so I'm going to just slowly try to... Whoa, come on, Mama. It's okay. And look at that. That's a beautiful clutch of eggs for not a big girl for sure so I'm just gonna kind of remove these eggs really quick bring them over here set them down oh my gosh that is amazing you know this late in the year to get a beautiful clutch of eggs especially from a great combination of orange streams like that I am so excited there's two four six seven good eggs so hey the good year continues on we have probably about five more clutches left but man I tell you what we have some great eggs still cooking and we've already hatched out some amazing babies this year had that albino to head albino clutch hatch out with some interesting results actually you can see remember we had three albinos and then we had a bunch of heads but what's interesting is that this is kind of what a normal albino would look like with the kind of mustardy color to it but then there's these faded ones here these two here are completely faded now if we were to look at the head albinos this is what a normal head albino would look like and then look at this faded one here so my assumption is is that this albino is like the normal ball pythons here and then these two faded albinos is whatever this gene is. Kind of some sort of hypoazanthic -y type of gene, kind of causing it to kind of blow out like this. The interesting thing is, I don't know what's gonna happen over the next month or so with them developing pigment. No clue what's gonna happen. Nevertheless, kind of interesting results. I was expecting just three normal albino ball pythons. Ended up getting two kind of interesting, weird looking ball pythons. And of course, a weird looking heterozygous. So uh, a project that we'll keep on working on, but nevertheless, I'm pretty excited about it. Got a couple things to just box that you guys sent me listen to this I'm not sure what's in here but it uh, it sounds interesting interesting enough that I had to open it on the vlog and I always appreciate you guys sending me a bunch of stuff because you guys are absolutely awesome and you always make me feel like it's Christmas all the time and what do we have what the heck what is this what is it? it's a it's what is it oh it's a strainer maybe for like the poop the poop soup strainer this, I think that's what this is. I think that that's what it is. And then we have, oh, oh this is cool. Lori loves these, by the way. I, I, heard, I don't know why I don't, I, I think the reason I don't use these is every time someone sends us one, of course this says, don't tread on me, uh, it, she steals them and I don't get a chance. So we have two of these. So now I can try to make sure I get one because I hear they're absolutely amazing. And uh, there's a bunch of notes. Brian and Lori, I watched your show and you said you need a little pooper scooper for Lucy's cage instead of using dustpans and tumblers. Uh, that's obviously the pooper scooper. And then the tumblers are for you and Lori. Uh, cold winters, love your vlog. Uh, so I guess they keep things hot too. So Vanessa, thank you, we appreciate you. So there it is, we got ourselves a female nosy bee panther chameleon for my boy Karma. Now we just need a name, uh, something that's awesome. And down in the comments, I know you guys are gonna come up with something cool. If you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist of me unboxing tons of stuff if you guys like those unboxing videos. Can you do me a favor also, right up here, podcast channel called checking and can you subscribe to that every wednesday we have a podcast noah on friday that's adult friendly over on this side you can subscribe to this vlog channel turn your post notifications on please have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow